Yes, people, what's good? It's your boy Animals. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're good from wherever you're watching. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesdays. This episode, I'm going to take you through how to make your bass 808s and kicks sit in the mix. If they don't, then what can happen is your mixes will sound muddy, the bass and 808s kicks will all clash with each other and you're not going to get a very nice sounding low end. I'm going to take you through some techniques that will overcome this and you'll get a better cleaner mix and you'll get the sound that you're looking for. Let's get to it. Okay, so following last week's episode, I've got my 808 pattern in there and I've just added some hi-hats and some snares. So I'll give you a quick play and see how that sounds. And this is more for like a, a drill beat. Okay, so you can add your kicks in by, you know, programming them in there, um, which is fine. But a better way to do that, especially for drill music, you can copy the 808 pattern and paste it into the kick and then hit Control A and Alt K. And all you want to make sure in this settings is that the key scale is set to C. This is set to none and you may want to toggle this wrap to top bottom as well. And all that's doing is compressing all the notes and it's compressing all the MIDI data into one note. We hit accept on there and that is your kick drum following the 808. Okay, so if you wanna get a bit more creative, we'll just clear that. I've got this pattern here now and I've actually followed the, the notes closest to it. You don't have to. Um, but it's just my preference. If the chords aren't too far from the kick on the C, then that's when I will usually do that. And I think this works. So most of it's following the 808 pattern. And I've just added a couple of notes in there um, to give it that little extra bounce. So it sounds quite nice at the moment. Um, it's working together. But we can make it sound that little bit more better. The first method that people normally use is side chaining on the 808. Now the way you set this up, you will add a fruity limiter to your 808 and then from your kick, you will just create a link here. So you see here, all I've done is just click it. You can do this multiple ways. I've shown you in my uh, beginners tutorial, the mixer one, but you can right click it and side chain to this track as well. So basically once we've got that there, we go back to our 808 and on this side chain, you can right click and select your kick or whatever it's named or whatever the channel is. Now what that's gonna do is every time it hits, you're gonna see it coming up in here. Now you wanna set your threshold. So your threshold is when it chooses to react. So at what volume will it come in? So you can set it right down so it can be immediately um, or you can set it to whatever level you want there. Now the knee, is how hard and soft it will um, it will limit or side chain the kick so if we have a hard knee that means as soon as that sound hits it's going to just cut that that there so you can see it coming up a bit lower now if we soften that up a little it'll just be a bit more smoother transition and the ratio is how quickly you want it to react to that sound so you can just play with these and make sure it's set comfortable and it's just to give it that little bit more warmer sound rather than, see if I turn that off, you can hear the kick is probably hitting harder, but it's actually overpowering. And if you listen to it on a you know louder system with the bass, it may not work, but it depends. You may get lucky and have an 808 or, or bass that the frequencies aren't clashing with each other. So if you have frequencies that are clashing with each other, this is one technique to do that. Now, the, the problem with this is it's ducking the whole sound. So every time the kick hits, the 808 is just dropping in volume. That's what you're doing here. Now, sometimes you don't want that because you want um, the mid sound or the high, the treble of the 808 or bass to come through. Now, there's another technique we can use to do that. And that's just controlling that frequency. So if we get rid of this fruity limiter, um, we don't need to side chain on this now. now. What you do is you add a fruity peak controller to your kick 
and then we go to our 808 and we add a parametric EQ. So we've got our parametric EQ here and we've got the peak controller here. Now the way we're going to set this up is we're just going to have a look at what frequencies are playing on the bass. So I'll just maximize this for you as well so you can see. So it's, it starts off somewhere here and then it goes down there. But you can see this 808 has a lot of mid as well. So now we've got our 808 um, frequency that we want. We know we want to duck. So we just find that frequency, which is this one here. I can just reset that. And you notice this knob we want to reduce. So now what we do is we right click and we link to controller. And on the internal controller here, we'll just go down to peak control and select peak. Now we've got the peak there. You can set, you see it's gone drop down completely what it's doing is it's raising it up to the maximum and then dropping it now the way we control this is we set the base to half which would be 50 so that's kept it to you know, but now it's jumping up the base is actually overpowering the kick which is not what we want so we turn this volume the other way around so we go to minus so I'm probably gonna set this at 0.25 now if we see what it's doing see it's dropping it there and we still got the warmth of the 808 and again the decay is just how hard and soft it does reacts see when it's returning so if we turn the decay right down it's just not going to return bring it up and again you can just play with that And that's how you make it work. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. God bless.